Hey y'all, I'm coming at you real quick. We're gonna be making a sweet potato casserole today. It's just a basic sweet potato casserole. Just thought while I was doing some Christmas cooking, I'd throw this one in there. So what you need is two cans of Bruce's yams. My son's crazy if y'all can hear him in the background. He said, it's your boy Jason. That's one of the people I follow on YouTube. It's your boy Jason. He's, he's awesome, y'all go find him on YouTube, he's cool. Anyway, two cans of the Bruce's yams. You wanna drain the, the juice out of them. A lot of people use just regular sweet potatoes, but I was in a hurry today, so this is your fast, quick method of doing it. So, But the recipe actually calls for three cups of mashed sweet potatoes, but this is just the easier way for me to get it done. So get them out of there. Just as so. Well, wow, that kind of cheeks me on that one. That didn't have any in it. And it don't matter what brand y'all use, so that don't matter. Okay, next you're gonna put in um, two whole eggs. One. And two. Now let me wash my hands real quick, because I always wash my hands after I do with eggs. Guess once everybody have one washing my hand. Is she bold, Jason? Go there and tell him hi. You don't want to? Uh, he's going to be back. We're not going to get my son to say hello. He ain't doing it. Okay. So we got those eggs in there. One of these days I'm going to learn how to edit my videos. That way, y'all have to sit here and wait and watch me wash my hands. So, all right. Our next ingredient is going to be one cup of sugar. So I have a half a cup in here. So. It'll be two halves or one one cup. So this is one cup of sugar, give or take. Okay, then our next ingredient is, uh-oh, where am I? There we are. Three-fourths a cup of milk. So this is our three-fourths cup. So we need three-fourths a cup of milk. Put that in there. Oh, got that a good one in there. All right. Then it calls for one tablespoon of vanilla. Y'all know what a tablespoon looks like, but I just always put more vanilla in than what it calls for. So I love vanilla and I think it tastes amazing. Okay. So let me tell y'all the recipe one more time. It calls for three cups of mashed sweet potatoes, two eggs, one cup of sugar, three fourths cup of milk, and one table teaspoon. Ooh. Of vanilla. Then you're going to get your mixer out. Let me grab that real quick. Grab my little mixers. Let me grab the actual mixer now. And I absolutely love this mixer. I've had it for several years. It's been a great mixer. It's a KitchenAid. I absolutely love it. If y'all looking for a good mixer, a KitchenAid mixer is one to get. Plug in my little plug here. All right, put the beaters in there. Turn it on and let's get this mixed up. Start out slower. If not, I'll have it sloshed everywhere. And you just mix it and make a juicy casserole out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and call off the recipe for the topping before we start while I'm mixing. So for the topping in another bowl, what you're gonna do is put a third cup of flour, one cup of brown sugar, and a half a stick of margarine turn this up a little bit once it starts not being so crazy you can turn it up but if you get if you put these mixers in here on high been there done that got sweet potatoes all over the place so you got to kind of start out a little bit slow and you don't have to have it totally smooth you can leave a few chunks of sweet potatoes in there It'll be fine you just want to get the main stuff stirred up you know, I don't know why this recipe don't have butter in it. Hmm. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna add some butter. Everything's better with butter. Got to have some butter. Cause I'm looking at a recipe book here, but this ain't usually the one that I follow. So 
I'm going to add some butter, y'all, just because I think it needs some. I'm going to save that for my... Well, I'll go ahead and use it. Let me get a bowl and we'll mount this up. We'll get this mixed in here. We'll call it done. One of these days, I'm going to have an organized cooking video, and y'all will be like, wow, Sarah finally got organized. So, this is where my microwave comes in handy. I don't usually use my microwave much to cook, but I do use it to melt butter and things like that. I'm not a big cooker of the microwave. I pretty much use it just to warm up my foods. But when I say it doesn't, it can be kind of chunky. Let me show y'all. See how it's got the chunks in it? That's how it can be. But I'm going to add half a stick of butter to that because it's got to have butter. Is it really a southern food? If it don't have butter, no, it ain't. Y'all know it ain't. So we're going to add the butter to it and get that going. Then I got to get my casserole dish next. All right. I think that's probably about good for the butter. Pull that on out of the microwave. Get all that goodness out of there. Okay. And let's just stir that in real quick. And then we'll be ready to put it in the casserole dish. Okay. I don't know if they just forgot to put the butter on that recipe. The sweet potatoes always have to have butter in them. Must have been a bad mistake. All right, then you're gonna get rid of your beaters. Whoa, my decorations are flying everywhere. Okay. And you're gonna get your casserole dish. It's a, I'm trying to tell you all the size. It's a 14, it says, I can't even read that. I don't know, it's a big casserole dish. Y'all gonna look at me and tell, I don't know. I don't know the size, but that's what I'm gonna put it in. We're gonna get the Pam out and give that a spray. There's my Pam, I'm like, where's it at? I really want my husband to build me a pantry in there in my dining room. I moved my dining room over to the other room now that we've had a couple kids move out. He's like, that will decrease the value of your home. And I'm like, no, it won't. Are you kidding me? Every woman looks for a huge pantry. It would be a walk-in pantry. It would be the size of my dining room. I want one so bad. Y'all comment below and tell Jeff, give that woman a pantry. That's what she wants. I mean, it would be so neat. I, I just want one so bad. Plus, I want another oven for cooking for the holidays. This might have been too big of a pan, y'all. Oh, well, we're going to wing it and call it done. Because I've got to have this done in about 45 minutes to go down to my mother and father-in-law's. So, that sure does look awful thin. Ooh, I may have to switch pans. Maybe not. I'm just going to leave it. It's whatever. So anyways, you smooth out your casserole across the top. Just like so, put this in the sink. All right, now we're gonna do the topping and that's the what I told y'all earlier. So let's get those ingredients. Let's get our butter melting. That's one of the most important parts is to get that butter melting. Get a spoon here. But yeah, a pantry would be great. Do y'all have a big pantry in your house? I only have this little closet y'all see beside me. That's the only place I have for food. It's so small. I went, when we built this house, I was just thinking, this is wrong bowl. I was just thinking, room for kids, room for kids, which it's a beautiful house. I love my home. I'm not complaining at all. But now that we've had some move out, we have place for a pantry, so. Why not do it? Because I would love to be able to store up extra foods and things like that too. So, okay, next thing we're gonna need is a third a cup of flour. A third a cup? I sounded Italian the way I said that, didn't I? Where's my third cup? Oh, it's hiding from me. I'll just use this one. So just a 
third cup of flour, so this is a two thirds, so I'm gonna half this. Sounds like that's done. My third may be in this flour thing already. Sure is. There's my third cup. It was hiding out in my canister. That's because I use it every time I make banana pudding. Banana pudding is the most, is what I make more than anything. And I'm gonna probably try to upload a video of that here in a minute. All right, so you got your third cup of flour. You're gonna need one cup of brown sugar. Oh, Lord in heaven, where's my brown sugar? See why I need a pantry, y'all? This is why. Oh, I'm gonna knock stuff out of my head. I did, let's see, here comes some stuff. If I do, y'all call 911 for me, okay? <laughs> All right, here's my brown sugar. I want to share something with y'all. I have these little bears. I don't see them in here now. They're called brown sugar bears. And you put them in your brown sugar, which I need to put that one in here because I don't have one in here right now. Let me go get one of those. I want to show it to y'all. actually have several on hand. They're called brown sugar bears. You can buy these. They look like they're, they look like, kind of like what terracotta, uh, terracotta pots are made out of. They're that orange stuff. But if you put them in your um, brown sugar, I'm surprised I don't have one in there, but if you put them in there, it keeps your brown sugar from getting hard on you. And when you get your sugar out, it's just as soft as it was when you first bought it. So these are awesome. I don't know what happened to my original one, but it's not in there, so no telling. Okay, back to the recipe. Um, one cup of brown sugar. So we're gonna get that going on. We're gonna get our one cup of brown sugar. Try to pour it over the bowl in case I spill any out, because I ain't the most talented. I'm just gonna use my hand to mash it. And it may not be the perfect measurement. Oh, there's a big old clump. Oh, I need you to go back in there, honey. Oh, that's too much. Go on back in that bag. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my dog will be in here and get that later. Okay. I think that's going to be about a cup. Once you mash it down, because there was a little bit that dribbled down in that bowl when I was pouring it. Anyway, you just take your brown sugar bear, throw it in that bag with it. Roll it up and seal it off. And the next time, it can be a month or two before I use this. And that bear will keep my brown sugar soft, which is amazing. Okay, so we got the flour, the brown sugar. Now I need to add that butter, that half a stick of butter. And throw it in there. I need to wash that microwave out. Doing stuff like this gets butter splatters all over that door. All right, so all you do for that topping is you just mix it up with a spoon, just a regular old spoon. You're just gonna mix it till you get it all pretty well blended. Just take you a little bit, sing you a little song or something. Mixing up the brown sugar topping. Mixing up the brown sugar topping. Can't sing a cool song because, well, YouTube will take it off, so it's gotta be original of my own. Could rap y'all one. My kids used to laugh at me because when they were little, I used to rap. And they would be like, Mom. They would be embarrassed watching this video if they just see I even sung my brown sugar song. They'd be embarrassed. Okay. So once you get it kind of mixed up, it's going to look kind of chunky like that. It's fine. It's all good. You're going to stick your little pretty paws down in there. You've got your casserole dish here. I'm hoping y'all can see what I'm doing. And you're just going to kind of sprinkle it across the top and you don't have to worry about oh there's a clump here there's not one there when it melts in there it's going to go everywhere it's all going to come out good anyway so i'll show y'all the chunks in a minute once i get them all on there so you just kind of spread them out throughout the casserole oh my phones are ringing okay so i got all those chunks out I got brown sugar all over it. Okay. So I got those chunks on there. So what you're going to do, 
you and before you ever start your recipe, you should preheat your oven to 350. We're gonna put this in the oven on the 350 for about 45 minutes and it's gonna come out, it's gonna be good. There's other types of toppings that y'all can use on a sweet potato casserole. Um, you can do marshmallows on top of one. You can take this that I just mixed and you can add chopped pecans to it. Um, I love them that way. They're really good with the chopped pecans, but I quit doing that because my daughter's allergic to pecans. So that's why I do it this way. But my mama always made it with marshmallows and that's amazing too. So anyways, that's my sweet potato casserole recipe. Um, it's simple, it's fast, it's easy. If I can do it, you can do it.